2017 began with most, if not all, of Nevada being hit with extreme weather. Heavy snow has swept across the Elko area and across southern Nevada's Mount Charleston. And high winds, rain, and snow blaze through the Sierras and into northwest Nevada. A lot of snow, flooding, and then more snow. And NDOT staff has been working before, during, and after all these events to keep the public and the roadway safe. With snow in the mountains and down to the valley floor, NDOT crews were already busy plowing our Nevada roads when forecasters began predicting an atmospheric river. Extensive rain showers mixed with warmer temperatures and melting snowpack were a recipe for serious flooding in the greater Reno Sparks and Carson Valley areas. We work closely with the National Weather Service in the days prior to the atmospheric river event. Um, so we got a timeline of when this event was going to happen. What we were able to do is we were able to work with our local contractors to stage equipment uh, at various structures where we knew we had problems in the past. As projected, on January 8th the rains began and continued through the weekend without letting up. Governor Brian Sandoval, on scene before, during, and after the floods, declared a state of emergency. And the State Emergency Operations Center was also activated. And our job is to make sure that the state is fully informed as a whole of what's going on with our highways, with our infrastructure. We are also here in support uh, to supply any resource requests that come our way from the counties or the cities or other agencies, federal government. As floodwaters rose, NDOT crews and local contractors were busy making sure culverts were clear and roadways and bridges safe. And when the rains let up, the damaging floodwaters had left their mark. We're currently driving out Pyramid Highway to assess some of the damage that we've had in our roadway, specifically along State Route 445, 446, and 447. Raging waters had literally washed away several sections of State Route 446 near Pyramid Lake and had also damaged the nearby Pyramid and Gerlach highways. State Route 207 Kingsbury Grade between Carson City and Lake Tahoe and State Route 342 south of Virginia City were also damaged and had to be closed until repaired. On sections of Interstate 80 west of Reno, floodwaters caused dangerous potholing. And portions of McCarran, Franktown Road, US 50A, and sections of South Virginia Street were damaged as well. As early as the morning after the flood, NDOT began emergency contracts worth roughly $6.5 million to make emergency repairs to the flood-ravaged state roads. The flood could have been a lot worse. Um, as NDOT's become more stormwater aware, we've actually cleaned more drop inlets, pipes, and culverts in the last year than we ever had before, so thereby preventing a lot of flooding and keeping the roadways safe. NDOT crews and local contractors quickly began repairs as NDOT support staff work long hours assessing, planning repairs, getting information to the public, answering customer calls, and jumping in to help with anything that needed to be done. Staff and equipment from Las Vegas and Tonopah was dispatched north to help with the emergency operations. And then, in the midst of the cleanup, snow began to fall again, and lots of it. NDOT snowplow drivers were out in full force, clearing state roads to make them safe and accessible to motorists. Mount Rose Highway had to be closed several times for avalanche control and snow removal. They've been working 12-hour days or more for uh, a long, long time, certainly over 10 days. Mount Rose crew has been up here with their trucks. Some of them are not being turned off at all. One driver drops, jumps in, the other one jumps out, and literally we just don't miss a beat. We're working nonstop continuously through all these events. The hard work and dedication of NDOT maintenance crew staff and local contractors paid off. Drivers were kept safe on state roads and, within a week, state routes 342 and 207 were back open to thankful motorists. Well, great news, we just reopened Kingsbury Grade SR207. And many of the damaged roads are being quickly repaired. We had no loss of life. We had no serious injuries. We didn't lose any bridges. 
and we were able to perform the way we've been training for all these years to address this flooding issue. We were well trained, well prepared, both before, during, and after these snows, floods, and then additional snows. And uh, was incredibly proactive, not reactive, but proactive with this particular flood event. And I think NDOT shined very well because we do continual training uh, on a very regular basis. It was truly a collaborative effort working with the Washoe County EOC, the State Emergency Operations Center, and the National Weather Service. All those groups, all those units helped us perform as well as we did with this crisis. These, these events are, are never easy to go through, but I think we were well prepared, as well prepared as we possibly could have been, and I'm just really, truly proud to be uh, a, a member of NDOT.